Hey, welcome to the Super Fun Horse Map. What was that? I don't know. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. This is a Dazatronics Rad Distortion. Yes. Uh, hello to Darren um, hey, in Melbourne. Hope you're well done there in Melbourne yeah. at the moment. Um, the Rad Distortion based somewhat his take on a uh, thing with a, not the D, but a T, a rat. Yes, right. Mm. Hey, um, yeah, we're going to get a bunch of sounds from the distortion. If you hit like and subscribe on the video, though, give us a thumbs up if you like it, and comments, questions below in the comments section would be really, really cool. Below. Uh, yeah, Did you yeah. below? Yeah. Yes. Um, we've got some Aussie guitars to go with the Aussie distortion. This is the Vander Guitars Ostel. Hello, David. Also in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Hope everyone's yeah, well done safe there and happy and not going crazy lockdown. And um, you've got your parts caster, and we've also got an Ormsby, which is also another yes. Aussie invention. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. we're going, as always, into the Cherry Tone uh, Creme Brulee, which is a, like a matchless, foxy kind of vibe mm -hmm. kind of thing, going into a 1x12 with a Celestian Greenback, mic'd with a Lewitt MTP for 40. Hello, Lewitt people. And we also have the Engel Cab Loader in the mix uh, with, uh, and also the, was it on in the intro? No. The Pictronics Evolution Pro Ultra Pro 2 and the uh, Engel Cab Loader, you can watch a video on that there, um, has a Celestian Plus IR in it, which I believe is the 4x12 green back, closed back. Mm, quad box with a quad box. Like a Royer and a 57 mic on that. And there's links to that below. Mm. So we, we've sort of signed up with the affiliate program, and if you are thinking of buying a Celestian Plus IR, Anyway, it doesn't necessarily have to be the ones we're using, but if you click on a link, that helps the sh helps out the show and helps out yeah. everyone. So they uh, sound very, yes, very very good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so do you want to start? Or do you want me to start? Yeah, I have a play. You have a play. Um, so so this is the clean, clean sound. Clean tone of the Vanda. Beautiful. True. So the rat distortion, um, basically similar to a rat, I presume. Three knobs. Uh, mm. We've got volume, gain, and tone. Tone actually works different to the rat because the rat, it's a filter where clockwise it actually closes the filter and counterclockwise it opens this way. It's just a normal tone. And you also have a silicon and germanium uh, switch up the top. So the intro is on silicon, which is silicon is the original rat. That's, that's you know, what mm. they use. Uh, germanium is his own take on it, basically. And also what I like with a lot of his pedals, very large light, which I like. That's fun. Okay, so let's try on the silicon setting, everything at 12 o'clock uh, with your guitar. Sure. <laughs> the sound of that sort of that kind of drive it's classic rock I really it? dig it classic okay rock. so let's and let's pu punk stuff too like that. yeah so yeah. riffy stuff to me it's a very riffy mm. pedal let's go between the silicon and germanium so i believe um the original rat the way it was distorting um with the silicon transimster in it that's a mm. <laughs> Henning term. Um, the germanium works slightly different the way he's done it, uh, but it's sort of his take. So the silicon, so if you have this on to the left, it's more like a traditional classic rat. If you go to the germanium side, that's more his version mm. of it, his take of it. Yeah. So let's just, I'll just switch, switch back and forth between it. So. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
feels like on the Germanium one, it's a bit more mid-range. A bit more pokey. Yeah. Pokey rat? Yeah, yeah. Pokey rat sounds it's, like a... It's hard to really tell much. I mean, you can tell a difference, but to sort of point your finger on what it actually yeah. is. It's just the vibe. It's it's, yeah, it's, it's vibing vibe. differently. It's just the vibe. In a different it's vibey sort of way. The constitution. It's the vibe. You want to go? Sure. Uh, so I've got my uh, Parts Master Caster, Blaster Master Caster. There's a video on that here with Martin A. Smith pickups. For this video, I'll be mostly on a bridge, which is the uh, wide range humbucker style sound and clean. First pink, you know, um, G string. What? <laughs> I didn't say that. It's good. I, li I, I like rats. That's I mean, a rat style. I, yeah. I dig that sound. It's hard to go wrong, isn't it? Nah, it's great. Let's go between the switchy thing. Okay. <laughs> With high gain, you can hear it more. Yeah. Um, it's it's like it shifts where the midpoint is. Yeah, it's maybe a bit angrier. Germanium. Germanium, yeah. Mm. Isn't that what it's meant to be? Germanium usually is the more aggressive sound. I always get it mixed up. I think <laughs> germanium is a more aggressive sound. Silicon is a less aggressive sound. Because yeah. and germanium is very. From isn't Ge germanium the one that's very um, German? <laughs> from it's very German. Um, no, but it's it's very um, the environment sort of influences it quite a lot. Heat oh, and sure. moisture and that sort of stuff. I think they're a little bit harder to control, Germanians. Like you need to wrangle them. Yes. Muster them, if you will. They're tiny little horses. And I'll just keep playing. <laughs> it gets maybe a bit almost, for lack of a better word, nasalier. But that's a mid-focus thing, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like there's... I'm just trying to... There's less noticeable difference at lower gain but yeah. more at higher gain although i found then it became more that kind of mid more mid forward hmm. a little bit yeah that's what it should be Bit of delay. Cool. So to me, the rat it just works with everything. It, good, fat, pokey lead sounds. Mm. Great riffy sounds. I just dig oh, it. What's not to love? I just dig it. I just dig it. Should we try quickly? Yeah, yeah, you chuggy chuggy. Let's 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 see how it handles a seven string in drop A tuning. So this is the Ormsby <laughs> <laughs> Hype GTR. Big thank you to the awesome people at Ormsby for this as well. There's links to everything below, uh, which clean because I mean everyone wants to hear the clean sound. Uh, with a drop A, A minor chord, it sounds actually. So the silicon side may not necessarily handle the low notes that yeah. well. Sounds cool though, but it's fuzzy. It 
it's blown out, but it's, it sounds cool. I like it. I mean, it's not an, a chugga chugga articulate thing, but yeah. for chordal low stuff, like do, do me, I guess, yeah. is that the word? It's so much delay. Off. Yeah, I mean it's not it's not a it's but it's it's fat, it's big. Yeah. It's I don't um, know how to play seven string, but it's um, yeah, if it doesn't do the metal thing, but that's kind of No, it's more a doomy kind of riffy it's thing. It's quite a niche thing anyway, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Look, you know the the, the Dinosaur Junior thing in drop A. Such good, a good, good, good. Go with the humbuckers. Such uh, a thick sound, isn't it? Go. Or do, do, do. Yeah, try that. <clears throat> it's fat. It's just. I, I just. I, I like it. I'm. I'm a rat. Rat guy. Ratty rat guy. Rodent fan. <laughs> so this is my Ibanez AS100 from the year 1981, all stock. Um, sure. I, I love that guitar. It's a cool guitar. It's good, ratty. With that guitar, I like the germanium side way better. Early two thousands pop punk. Kind of. Yeah, I mean it's 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 just that sound. It just. You're that early two thousand pop punk kind of guy. Oh me, that's. <laughs> I'm I'm a skater boy now. Did you did? Did someone say see you later, boy, to you? <laughs> oh, probably more than I skated, to oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Um yeah. I think it's cool. I like it. I mean, I, generally, I like... Check out if you get a chance. Mm. I'll link this video up here. This is one of my... I'm still trying to do it every once in a while, but time is always an issue. And um, My Tuesday morning series that I did, and I did one with my baritone and the Dazzatronic Spot. The um, yes. stereo Optical. panning optical tremolo. tremolo. Uh, and a few other pedals, and just the uh, stereo sound. I mean, I, I, I like, I, I'm a fan. I'm a Dazzatronics fan. I yeah, like this stuff. Yeah, they're really well built. Um, sound great. Yeah, yeah. That's so, to love. that's the rad distortion. Yeah. We might do, we just recently did a bit of a rad mm. shootout. We might do another rad shootout at some stage mm. um, coming up soon uh, where we use different versions of rat kind of version pedals. <laughs> and while people are looking at or thinking about different versions of rat version style versions of pedals, Stop what versions. else should they be doing? Stop saying <laughs> and there's a link below to our Instagram and our Facebook, Facebook group chat. 
and a podcast if you could check out those and if you got some time that'd be much appreciated and also be questions 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 comments below below like i said and um yeah thanks for hanging out and checking out the daz i don't know if you mentioned below but it's below dazatronics <laughs> okay bye thank you darren uh <laughs> thanks, and bye. uh yeah check out more dazatronics links below thanks everyone bye